Hi friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from TechWriters and in this video I'm going to unbox and review the new portable storage device from Seagate. Yes, this is a fast SSD external storage device and this can be connected using normal USB 3.0 connector or you can use USB-C type. Yes, we got both the connection with this SSD and the capacity of this SSD is 250 GB. Now let me show you like what is there on the box. In the front you can see that they have mentioned about the capacity of this SSD that is 250 GB and they have mentioned about USB-C type connectivity. At the back you can see that they have mentioned about the compatibility with Windows and Mac operating system. Also the maximum sequential read and write speed is 540 and 500 Mbps. So let me quickly open this device and show you like what all things are there inside. Alright so as soon as you open the box the first thing you will see is this beautiful SSD. I'll keep this SSD aside for a while and let me show you what else we have in the box. So we have the user manual and Adobe Creative Cloud options. And then we have this data cable which is actually C type to C type like both the side we have the C type connectivity and also you can see that the quality of the cable is really good it's tough and very strong so other cable we have is the USB 3.0 to USB C type and this is also really strong now let me quickly show you the Seagate SSD so here is the Seagate fast SSD and the first look is quite impressive you can see that it has got silver and black designing also the material what they have used is of really high grade and the weight is quite light you don't feel like anything is there inside now the bottom here we have the USB C type connectivity and at the back you can see they have mentioned about the details like 250 GB and some of the serial numbers here you can see that Seagate logo is there on the silver part. Now let me quickly do one thing, show you like what all connectivity uh, options we have. As I told we have two cables comes with this particular SSD. One is the USB 3.0 to USB C type and other one is C type to C type. So in this laptop I have C type connectivity as well. So here one end I can put it into the USB C type and other one I can use it in the Seagate C type connectivity. So this will be a very fast connectivity which is C type to C type and the other one the second cable which can be used in uh, most of the system or the laptop which is like USB 3.0 and then other part will go definitely into the Seagate SSD which is C type. Now the main difference I'll show you just now like I'll uh, plug first the USB 3.0 and then I'll plug it into the laptop. So this is like generic cable which most of us uses. So let's see how is the performance. So as soon as you connect this cable you will see this SSD page pops up. Now let me do one thing. Let me paste 1.1 GB of data on this SSD and see like what is the transfer rate using USB 3.0 connectivity. So here you can see that the speed is 38 around 35 to 38 Mbps and it is taking approximately 20 to 30 second of time to transfer 1.1 GB of data. So this is like not too fast like normally for USB 3.0 we get around 25 to 30 speed and here is like little bit improvement in uh, the SSD device. So let's see how much time does it take. So it has taken around 20 second of time to complete the transaction. So here I have already copied it into the fast SSD. Now let me copy this from SSD and I'll go and paste into the system SSD which is Samsung SSD. I have a C drive as a Samsung SSD which is also a fast SSD. Now let me paste this 1.1 GB of data which has been copied from the Seagate SSD. Now I'm pasting it. So it means it is reading it from the SSD, the fast SSD which is of Seagate and pasting like writing it on the Samsung SSD. But still you can see that the change is only 1 or 2 Mbps. It is like around 39 to 40 Mbps and still it is taking around something between 10 to 15 seconds of time to complete this transfer. Now this is the performance using the normal USB 3.0 cable. So what I'll do, I'll change this cable, this cable like uh, USB 3.0, I'll remove it and I'll put the USB C type cable and then I'll see how is the performance improvement. So I have this other cable, I'll simply plug this into the Seagate device. Now our SSD is ready for the USB-C type cable transfer. Now we'll see how is the performance improvement. I'll again go ahead and paste the same 1.1 GB of data but in different folder. Let me create a new folder and then I'll paste it here. Initially we had around 35 to 40 Mbps of transfer. Now let's see how is the performance. 
So here you can see that it has reached up to 120 Mbps and that's really great. It's a drastic improvement using USB-C type cable. Now what I'll do, I'll try to use this particular SSD, the Seagate SSD on my desktop. So this is a high performance desktop and it has got great motherboard. So the performance of the USB or USB 3.0, USB-C type will improve drastically. And the reason it will improve because there are different factors which hampers the speed of your hard drive or SSD because there will be slow bus rate or maybe the processor is slow or the connectivity from USB port to the processor or the other hard drive, the cables are slow. So it depends on lots of factors. So here now you can see that I have plugged my fast SSD, the Seagate SSD into the normal USB 3.0 port. Now let me quickly show you the usable capacity of this SSD because in the last test I did not show you the capacity. It's 232 GB and that's the usable capacity of this SSD. Now what I'll do, I'll copy any data from the normal hard drive, that is the Western Digital Black Edition hard drive. From that particular hard drive I'll copy something like this is 1.10 GB of data which I'll just copy it from the normal hard drive and then I'll try to paste it into the Seagate Fast SSD. Now let's see how is the performance. I click on the paste and here you can see that speed is around 160 Mbps. So you can see the drastic change like in the laptop it was coming around 40 Mbps and here it's coming 160 Mbps. It's quite huge difference. Now, let me copy it from the fast SSD, the Seagate fast SSD, and then paste it into the uh, other drive. So, let me copy it from here, and then I'll go to the, uh, like, normal Western Digital hard drive, and I'll paste it. So, here you can see the read speed has reached around 450 Mbps. So, you can see that we have reached the maximum transfer rate via copy and paste in this particular example. Now, I'm copying again from there and pasting. It's going up to 340, 330 Mbps. That's like close to the maximum capacity. So, again, we will try to copy it from the fast SSD, the Seagate SSD. And uh, before copying, I'll just rename because if again it will write or overwrite, there will be some kind of old data. Now I'll go to Samsung SSD. This is like copying from SSD to the other SSD. You can see that speed is 404 or 450 Mbps. It's going way faster than the normal transfer. All right, now it's time to check the Seagate SSD using some tools. So here I'm using AS SSD benchmarking tool and this is one of the common tool which we use to test any of the hard drive or the SSD. So here you will see that how is the sequential read and write and other performance of this Seagate SSD. So here you can see that write speed is 423 Mbps and the sequential read is 427 Mbps. So you can see that they are doing the test for 4K, 4K 64 thread and accurate time. So we'll see how is the performance and I'll do a comparison test with my Samsung SSD. So this one is the Seagate SSD. It's going, I'll just fast forward it and let me show you the result. So this is the result of Seagate Fast SSD. It's coming 677 score. Now it's time to check my Samsung SSD which is like one year old. Let me just start the test. So here you can see that the sequential write is 464 and read is 506. Quite impressive. Now we'll see all other parameters. It's testing and the score is here. And you can see that the Samsung internal SSD is performing a little better than the external SSD drive. So that's really good because even it is an external device, external SSD, the Seagate has performed really good. All right, so now we have done all the test and all the comparison. Now it's time to give you the final verdict. Should I buy this SSD or not? So first thing, what is the price of this SSD in India? The price is around 7,000 rupees, which is close to $100. Now, if you are looking for a very fast external drive, then definitely you should go with the Seagate because if you are transferring like 4K videos or you are transferring lots of softwares and you don't have much time to like wait, then definitely this device is meant for you. And also we have a very good advantage of SSD over normal hard drive that there are no movable part in SSD as we all know and hence 
the durability or the sustainability of SSD is much longer than the normal hard drive. In normal hard drive, we have seen that the hard drive crashes after a longer period of use or if you are using again and again, then the hard drive crashes. But there are no issues with this SSD. It can go on and on for years. But yes, all these comes with lots of extra cost. Alright guys, so this was my complete video review for Seagate Fast SSD. I hope you liked it. If you like, do give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and have a nice day. Bye-bye.